Just about set to kick off here, and it's not a home game for either of these teams. And now we bring you the coin toss, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. We'll see how these two teams play in this game as they prepare for the opening kickoff. It's fielded at the two. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 30. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Caught open field. He's at midfield. And they finally push him out at the 45. What well, great time to go with the play action. Defense was anticipating run. They came up to stop the ball carrier. The quarterback was able to find his receiver downfield. He makes a big time play and a great catch for a first down. Throws complete. He's got room to work. And they make the stop at about the 31. The defenders are really going to have to get their heads into this game. That was a big play, and on first down, no less. Throws a laser across the middle. And down he goes at about the 27-yard line. The screen is good for four. It's a well-designed play to the halfback, and it worked at least to get them a medium gain on the play. After a decent run up the gut. And that's their third first down of the drive. The defense needs to figure out a way to stop them, or else they're going to have no problem putting points on the board. And he's taken down at about the 19-yard line. Swings it out there incomplete. That's a real danger. If he leaves too many passes short like that, sooner or later, they're going to end up in the wrong set of hands. It's third and nine. Ball on the 19-yard line. Puts it right in his hands. Touchdown. A nice seven play, 70 yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. The score now, 7 0. South Alabama is ready to kick it away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 23 yard line. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. He's hit right away. That makes it second and two. From their own 30-yard line. Second down. There's a strike complete. Tackle made at about the 37-yard line. Seven-yard gain, and that'll be a first down. Nice protection, a good pass, and even a better catch. You can't ask for much more than that. It was a great read by the quarterback there to take the snap and throw it quickly to get the first. Tackle that a decent pickup. That makes it second and six. From their own 41-yard line, it's second down. He scrambled. He's at midfield. And he's tackled at the 42-yard line. Hey, sometimes the defense does everything right, and they still lose. That time they had tight coverage, which left no options other than for the quarterback to take off. First and 10, ball on the 42. Yeah. 
He's going to try and scramble. Fumble. Scoops it up. You love to see your playmakers on defense coming through and creating some breaks, which is exactly what the safety did. A touchdown was the end result of their last drive as this offense moved the ball very well with their passing game. And you can bet this defense made some adjustments on the sideline, though. I don't know if they can stop the passing attack, but they need to at least be able to slow it down. Throws it, and oh, he dropped it. Boy, this is a great play by the safety to be able to be in a position to make this play, but he's got to be able to hold on to the football. You know, he's a big, physical, athletic guy, but you've got to be able to secure a football and make a big play when it presents itself. He throws right. From their own 37-yard line, it's third down. South Alabama up seven points. Throws this one out to the right. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Never good for a back's confidence to get tackled for a loss. But this guy knows that he's got to just keep at it and the holes will start to open up. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on the 42-yard line. And he holds that one in. The 36 yard line. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. That's a great tackle at the 43. So they turn it over on downs, and that's a big boost for this defense. In a close game like this one, it's big plays like this that can be the deciding factor. This offense was infected by the turnover bug their last time out. Let's see if they can hold on to the ball here. Sometimes when you lose the football, you start to focus a little bit more. So a turnover can actually work out in your favor. Myers incomplete. He was looking for the tight end. And there wasn't anyone in the vicinity. I think the ball just slipped out on him. Second and 10. Ball on the 43-yard line. it to the 45-yard line. He's under pressure. Fires quickly to the tight end. He's tackled at the 48-yard line. And that was a nice stretch for the D there. Yeah, they really cranked it up a notch on that series. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Gains his way to the 39-yard line. From the 36 yard line, second down. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. Pushed out of bounds. Around 
the 16-yard line. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. With the pass incomplete. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Down, he goes. Well designed play to get the hat back into the end zone. Hey, for this guy, it doesn't matter how it's drawn up. He can make his own play as he goes along. That was a nice run. We'll be tied with the extra point. And he converts the extra point. A nice nine play, 58 yard drive. And it's good for seven points. all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 25. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. it out to about the 24-yard line. This offense did really well with the air attack on their last trip out there. Let's see if they can do the same thing here. Well, it's one thing to have speed. It's another thing to have an idea of what you're doing and how to attack a defense. And right now, these wide receivers clearly have done an outstanding job in being able to make their reads and getting out of their breaks, and the quarterback put the ball right on the money from their own 24-yard line. It's second down. Fires up to his receiver. He's taken down at the 35. Second down and about two yards to go. Got a man, watch out here. And he is drilled at the 49 yard line. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 38. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Excellent open field tackle. There's a player down 
Not sure what happened. This is the eighth play of this drive. yard line. Complete. He's got room. And down he goes around the eight yard line. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Good open field tackle. Third down again. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Kick is up, and it's through the uprights. The Eagles running back. He was injured earlier. You see him down there on the sideline, and it looks like he's ready to get back in the game. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Fielded at the four. At the 30. Tackle made at the 32-yard line. The last time we saw this offense on the field, they drove the length of the field. And you think back to what that defensive coordinator tried to do. He tried to change some things up, but nothing seemed to work. It's going to be interesting to see how he can have an impact on this drive. And he tackles him hard at the 41-yard line. South Alabama holds a four-point lead. hit immediately. He lets it fly. The junior makes the catch. Touchdown, Jaguar. TD pass number three. Well, the quarterback's going to get a lot of credit, but I think the thing that has helped him the most back there is the protection by the offensive line. He's had plenty of time to make decisions back there in the pocket. He splits the Ready to kick this one off. He'll return it from the four yard line. And he just got drilled. It's not quite a blowout, but unless they do something here, it might turn into one. Throws complete. He's got room to work. And he's level at the 34-yard line. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. And he's taken down around the 43-yard line. It's a great job here by the quarterback of recognizing the outside linebacker blitz and delivering the football for a first down. Roger, Roger. 
from the 41 yard line. It's first down. They bring the quarterback down. Brad, not only did they give up a sack here, but their quarterback just got hit and hit hard. If I'm an offensive coordinator, especially an offensive line coach, I'm getting a hold of my offensive line, making sure these guys are on the same page, and they've got to take more pride in taking care of their quarterback than that play right there. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. Quick throw out to the receiver. Tackle made at the 34. Pulls down the catch and he's got room here. This is a big first down for this offense. I think it's another good example about how important it is to have an awareness about you as a wide receiver. The wide receiver did a really good job of knowing exactly where the first down marker was, and he made sure to get the route at least to that point, so when he made the catch and got hit, he had the first down. Gives it to the back. Touchdown! play by the offense as the halfback took it in for the score. Here's a play that was well designed and well executed. It can't get much better than that. And he tacks on the extra point. A seven play, 75 yard drive. And the result, seven points. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. He's to the 20, and he's taken down at the 29. Well, not a lot of defense in this quarter, that's for sure. Both offenses executing brilliantly, and as a result, a lot of points on the board for both teams. The offense was able to punch it in the end zone on that last drive. They'll come back out looking for more of the same. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. Quick throw. South Alabama is up four. Trying to get it to the tight end, but it falls to the ground. It's second and ten. Ball on the 48-yard line. And he's tackled at about the 43-yard line. Stop behind the line. That is exactly the type of play that good linebackers make on a regular basis. And if you can make enough of them in college, you're probably going to get a chance to play at the next level. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. You don't need three guesses to figure out what they're going to run right here on fourth and short. Toss. And they push him out at the 32. Just throws this one away. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. He makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. First down. 
South Alabama is up by four. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. Gets to about the five yard line. That's his left hand. That brings him second and goal. Tackle at the six yard line. From a defensive coordinator standpoint, it can really help out your scheme when you get excellent run support by the corner. The ball's on the six yard line, and we've got third and goal. He gets it up, and it sails through the uprights. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding him to a field goal right there. They line up to kick this one away. Taken at the five. Across the 30. They bring him down, and they bring him down hard on that one. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Makes the catch and look out. He's tackling two out of the 50. Yeah, the defense looked a little sluggish there. They can do better than that. It's first and ten. Ball on the 50-yard line. He's brought down in the open field. he could have that one back. Every quarterback has passes that he wishes he could have back. However, hey, a pick is a pick, and no one is going to care how bad he wants that one back. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 44. South Alabama is up a score. Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. like that the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage he got away with one right there he's very fortunate next time he should just throw it away out of bounds screen pass he's got his half back he's at the 40 they'll bring him down at the 30 They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Quick throw out to the receiver. Incomplete. And a great job that time on defense. Good job here, but let me tell you something. That wideout was left out to dry that time. Shoved out of bounds right around the 
36 yard line. That makes it fourth and nine. Doesn't want to let the punt returner have a chance here. He just wants to change field position. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. They threw a pick the last time out. Should be interesting to see what they do this time. He can't dwell on the interception. There's still a whole lot of football to be played today. He's on the run. He's taken down around the 25-yard line. This game's already shaping up to be a good one as we head to the second quarter. 24-17, South Alabama. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Quick pass, and they make the stop around the 29-yard line. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. He's scrambling, runs with it, and he's got room. And down he goes at the 43. two-yard line. First down. Looks left, finding his tailback. And they'll get him in the backfield. That'll bring up second and 12. the 34-yard line. It's second down. He has all day, but scrambles out. And he is drilled. The 26-yard line. at fourth down. Boy, great defense on that play. They were expecting the pass, and they defended it very well by getting a hand in there to break up the play. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. Unable to convert on fourth down, and the ball changes hands. hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. South Alabama up seven points. Fires out to his receiver. He's going to air it long. Incomplete. He let that pass get away from him. I think he's a little bit anxious. He actually looked a little bit too juiced that time, but he'll get the next one. From their own 41-yard line, second down. Rose, and he's right there to knock it away.
29 yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. And he makes it out to about the 31 yard line. There's a player down. I'm not sure what happened. Second and seven. Ball on their own 31. He fights forward to about the 33. six points. That was a very good play, and that will certainly help build his team's momentum. And he adds the extra point. South Alabama to kick. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. Gets out to about the 21. So the offense will come back out onto the field, hoping for a little better result than that last pick six. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off of mistakes. Tackle made right around the 40. You've got to play with that kind of purpose to move the ball against this defense. From their own 40-yard line, it's first down. After positive yardage. Gain of four yards. That'll make it second and seven. Double tight, double tight. Double tight. Three down, three down. There's a strike complete. He's down. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. And he's tackled at about the 45. yard line second down the Eagles had one of their key players go down earlier but it looks like he might be able to get back in the lineup throws over the middle it's intercepted and he hits him hard at the 35 Fred it's still early in this game and they might be able to get back into it I just feel like the quarterback seems to be forcing things a bit I understand trying to get back and fighting to get back in the game but that time to throw an interception when you really need points that was a big mistake We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 35. He's under pressure. 
and they get the sack. Perfect time to call the blitz. He took a bit of a chance, but it paid off by the linebacker being able to get through there, shoot the gap, and get to the quarterback. So the sack makes this a second and long. Quick throw out to the receiver. And he's level at the 38-yard line. And that makes it so the middle for a nice game. The defense looks like they're going to send in the cavalry on this one. Gets to about the 27-yard line. Here's a step in the maturation of a young quarterback. How does he respond to throwing an interception on that last drive? The game is in danger of getting out of hand early. It's very, very important that they not only hang on to the football this drive, but they also need to get a score on the board as well. So it's second down now. They need about four yards to pick up the first. And he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. Looks for the tight end, but they can't hook up. That makes it fourth and inches. Six-yard line. South Alabama's offense really had a goal in that first quarter, but they're starting to struggle here in the second hurry. Well, because they played so well early in this game, even though they have been struggling, they still have a pretty comfortable lead. Now let's see if they can hold on to it here as we get ready for the second half. The offense is looking to be a little bit more successful with this drive as they had to punt the ball away the last time they had it. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. That's a gene of four. That makes it seven and six. Gains his way to the 46-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Get to that quickly. Tackle at about the 35. Makes it to the 24. Nice run, and he's brought down. That'll make it second and four. Ten. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. First and goal from the five. They're knocking on the door. Touchdown, Jaguar. in this territory, but they look totally in control there. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Added 
looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He'll take it from the two. Brought down at the 28. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. He's tackled around the 35-yard line. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Pushed out of bounds at the 44-yard line. And he tackles him hard at the 46-yard line. Second down and seven. Ball on their own 46. They'll bring him down at the 38. Quick release. Oh, had it knocked down. That's what can happen when you run the same play. Yeah, you need to be aware of that and try to mix things up to keep the defense off balance. From the 38-yard line, it's second down. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. Taken down at the 23 yard line. This is the eighth play of this drive. Hand off inside. He fights forward to about the 23. From the 23 yard line. Second down. Scrambling around. And they make the stop at about the 15-yard line. And this is the 10th play of the drive. And he makes it out to about the 14-yard line. That was some sure tackling to make sure he didn't pick up the first down. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. Give to the tailback, and he's met in the backfield. I'm not going to fault that decision. It was definitely a first down that they could have picked up. You want to be aggressive early on, even if it doesn't always work out. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. There's a strike complete. And they push him out around the 25-yard line. That brings in second and one. Takes it right side for a good game. That makes it first and ten. Once and all, going deep. Dropped. 
Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 31. And that one's incomplete. Well, he tried to thread the needle with that pass. Well, here the quarterback makes a poor decision, throwing into coverage. Needs to look at his progression and find the second and third receiver. the 31. <laughs> Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. He's on the run. And down he goes around the 44-yard line. That makes it second and six. It's second down, six to go. Ball on the 44. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 50. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Let's see if they can keep the drive alive here. to go long and done. What a play, and that'll set up a first and goal. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Taken down at the two-yard line. Eastern Michigan just took their first time out. Under heavy pressure. Fires incomplete. Knocked away. Here it is, folks. Third and goal from the two. All the big boys are on the field now. Both teams have their big sets out there. He makes the PAT. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Taken at the five. And he's taken down at the 28-yard line. The Jaguars are just cruising through this first half, Herbie. Really a comfortable lead here. Yep, but still a lot of football left to be played. they got to remember that it's a four-quarter game, and even though that first half went pretty well, things can change in a hurry. So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. Zips it to the tight end. Good open field tackle. They didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. Second and eight coming up here. Ball in the 29. Gets it out quickly to the back, but he can't haul it in. Deep 
Ties it up there. Can't haul it in. Number nine Check was the intended receiver. Eagle. Eagle. That makes it fourth and eight. They're stacking the line. It looks like they're coming after this punt. And he just got drilled. I tell you what, if you don't like offense, turn this thing off. If you do, stick around. This one's fun. Yeah, if you're a traditionalist, this is probably not the best game for you. This is this is college football in 2013. Up and down the field with these quarterbacks putting up huge numbers. The offense will come out again hoping to have similar results as their last drive. As long as this quarterback has time to throw, then you can guarantee that he'll find the open man. Second and ten. Ball on the 42. Tackle made at midfield. to the tailback. He's at the 40. He gets hit out of bounds. The 30-yard line. Flag on the play. Let's see what it is. is Flipping. Offense. Offense. It'll be third down again Still after that third. penalty. Yeah, now they have more yards to pick up for the first down. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 48. Throwing left. Pulls it in. First down, and he's knocked out of bounds. First down. And he's going to lose big yardage. He's tackled immediately after the catch. From the 46-yard line, second down. with room to run, and he's tackled at the 41. Throws it in a hurry. Right down to the 33-yard line. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Played a half of football here. The Jaguars lead it by two touchdowns. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Bruce Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. I'm sure both teams have problems in the first half, but one of them, David, not moving the football. Both offenses really ran up and down the field. That we see this more in college football, Reese. More success on the offensive side, and it's harder and harder to stop these offenses that continue to get more and more complicated. The defenses, they got no answer. They got to find an answer quick, or else this ball game is just going to go tick for tack the whole second half. We've done what we can do here at halftime. Time to get you back out to the second half. We'll keep an eye on everything going on in college football. Fred Nestler and Kirk Herbstreit ready with a call. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. It's fielded at the two. He's to the 20. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. Pick up 
There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. Tackle at the 33. Number two makes the set the at the 33 yard line. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Pitch left. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. First and ten. Ball on the 47-yard line. They'll bring him down at the 41-yard line. Gives it off. He's at the 30. Still on his feet. He's at the 20. And he's tackled at the 14-yard line. That makes it first and 10. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 14. To about the 14 yard line. No green. That brings up second and nine. Quick throw to the tight end. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. give it off here and they got him for a loss i look for this offense to go back to some more straight forward between the tackles running they want to win this thing in the trenches it's the ninth play of the drive touchdown eagles Great move to get into the end zone. There's a perfect play call. They looked like they practiced that one a few times. That is exactly what they needed to get back into this game. A defensive stop on this next possession, and this game could very well be tied going into the fourth quarter. And he hits the PAT. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. Makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. And what a game it's been for this quarterback, Kirk. Oh, this is an example of this quarterback just really being able to go out and show his competitive spirit. And each time he plays, he puts that out on display. And the thing that's really helped him here is his decision-making continues to be consistent. It's allowing this offense to move the ball down the field and put the ball into the end zone. We'll see what else he has in store for this defense as they look to tack on more points. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. South Alabama is up a score. Looking for his man, incomplete. From their own 20-yard line, it's second down. Goes incomplete, intended for his wideouts. Throw 
going right. So the stop there on third and long, and that's going to bring up a punting situation. It's a good hold by the defense on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen. The 49-yard line. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. He's taken down right around the 30. He's been very impressive throwing for 400 yards. I like the way he's throwing the football today, showing a lot of poise in the pocket. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 30-yard line. He gets rid of this one. Now he's scrambling, and he's going to be sacked for a loss. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 20. And he's sacked. And that is one inspired defense right now. Well, this offense is running plays that are taking way too long to develop, giving the defense plenty of time to get after the quarterback. And boy, they're putting a lot of pressure on it. Fourth and long here after the sack. They've got 10 guys up. They're coming after the kick. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. Let's see if this drive has a more rewarding conclusion than their last, which ended with a punt. South Alabama is up by a touchdown. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. You know, sometimes the toughest throws to make for a quarterback is when he has a wide receiver wide open, and everybody in the stands is saying, throw it, throw it, and you aim the football instead of just getting back in rhythm, stepping, and throwing. And that time, he aimed the ball, it was incomplete. And they make the stop at the 26. A lot of concern from his teammates with a guy down on the field. They're about four yards away here on third down. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. And down he goes to the 35-yard line. Gets it, he's in space, and he's taken down at the 42-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Nice run there as they work the outside. That'll make it second and four. That's a great tackle at the 39-yard line. Well, you can really mess with an offense's game plan if you can take away their ability to run. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 32. Looks to his back, and he's got him again. Excellent open field tackle. The Jaguars running back. He was injured earlier. You see him down there on the sideline, and it looks like he's ready to get back in the game. South Alabama is up seven. Tackle made around 
the 32 yard line. the 20-yard line. Third down. Rose. Fires in there. Got it. Touchdown. And did that play ever develop nicely? Well, it's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. And it takes some real accuracy on those deep corner routes. So kudos to the quarterback. And he converts the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Fielded at the four. At the 30. He's tackled at the 36-yard line. They were forced to punt the ball away the last time they had it. They'll be looking for a little more out of their offense on this possession. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. And he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. From their own 37-yard line. Second down. Slings it. And he's tackled at the 39. the 39 yard line first down he scrambled and he's gonna be sacked it's a big time effort sacked by the defensive end I want to also give some credit to the coverage downfield the end never gave up on the play but because the quarterback didn't have anywhere to go with the football it gave the defensive end enough time to eventually chase the quarterback down for that sack Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball on the 41. Now he tries to buy some time. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. Brought down the 17-yard line. He's under pressure. Quick shot to the side, and he can't pull it in. Number 23 was 
He's intended to receive on the play. That makes it second and ten. Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 22. A lot of close game here. And up and down the field with both these offenses matching what the others done. Well, it's fun to watch each offense get an opportunity to go out and make plays. And you're right, you almost feel as, as if one offense feels challenged and has to be able to bounce back, and they've done that. Let's find out if the defense has made any adjustments after giving up a touchdown on that last drive. You know, when this defense went over to the sideline based on the way they've been playing so far, this defense coordinator has got to be living. Uh, he's got to get in their face. He's got to challenge them. He's got to get their emotions going. Because when you play defense, it's not just about X's and O's. It's about attitude and playing with a lot of confidence. That makes it second and ten. From their own 22-yard line, it's second down. South Alabama up seven points. He makes his way to about the 32. That's good for a of 10 yards. That'll make it third and one. Here's an opening. Makes it out to about the 43. Gets out to about the 44-yard line. That's good for a game of 13 yards. First down. Set up, run! Tackle around the 42-yard line. That's good for a game of two yards. That makes it second and eight. Gains his way to the 23-yard line. That's a team of the That makes it first and ten. Hey, hey, He makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. That's good for a of three yards. That makes it second From the 20-yard line, second down. Taken down for a loss. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. The Jaguars running back sidelined earlier with that injury. Right now, though, it looks like he's uh, warming up, trying to get back in the ball game. Quick toss. Got it. Complete. He's out of bounds. South Alabama is up a score. Touchdown, South Alabama. And he adds the extra point. all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. And 
here comes the offense again. They'll try to make it two touchdowns and two possessions. Well, I think this defense has got to do something because right now the quarterback is in such a good rhythm that you've got to do something to try to get him out of it. I would suggest trying to bring more pressure. Try to come up with an exotic blitz look to try to get him on his heels as opposed to being the aggressor and attacking the defense. From their own 24-yard line, second down. And he hits him hard at the 17. Throws in a hurry. That's exactly how they drew it up on the sideline, and now they get the ball back. He makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. And we see this offense again after what you, Kirk, call a very physical touchdown drive. Well, I say that, Brad, because the big hog mollies up front were able to create holes for the running game, and it helped them get the score. Let's see if they can do it again. It's second and 11. Ball on the 47-yard line. complete and they finally push him out at the 20-yard line they'll bring him down around the 10-yard line Makes it to the nine. He's into the open field. Touchdown, Jaguar. Outstanding run and Great execution by the entire offensive unit, especially the blocking up front. And he hits the PAT. It was a five-play, 46-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running back. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. And now he's got room to run. He's taken down around the 37-yard line. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. He's tackled around the 38-yard line. Makes his way to about the 48. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Fires back to his fullback, but he can't hang on. 
third down. They make the stop around the 47 yard line. From the 47 yard line. First down. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. From the 26 yard line. It's first down. Got some open field. Runs outside for a nice game. This is the eighth play of this drive. Hit before it can go anywhere. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 12. Caught, touchdown, and they're not ready to quit just yet. Splits the uprights with the extra point. A nine play, 73 yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. From his own goal line, he got hit hard. The Jaguars had that hot hand on offense, and they just keep on going here in quarter number three. The greatest thing you can say about these guys today is consistency. They are moving the football and putting points up on the board. They're going to be tough to beat. A touchdown was the end result of their last drive as this offense moved the ball very well with their passing game. And it was a really nice drive, too, Brad. The quarterback got into a nice rhythm and did a good job of picking apart the defense. He's to the 40. And he's taken down around the 48 yard line. That's good for a game of 21 yards. That makes it first and 10. Find his man and they take him down immediately. Laterals back and he's got space. Knocked out of bounds at about the 37 yard line. Complete. From the 37 yard line, it's second down. Quick throw out to the receiver. Tackle made around the 33 yard line. Number one makes the tackle. back. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. It's a good surge by the defense. They really disrupted the timing on that play and gave him no chance to get the first. So they're going to go for it here. That's three down and one to go. The Jaguars lead it by two touchdowns. Back 
in this very pivotal fourth quarter. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. Not sure that touchdown and their last possessions given them some confidence, but let's see if that carries them back down the field. Passes to the wide out, and he can't pull it in. Second and 10. Ball on their own 20. The defense has been unable to stop this passing attack. That last completion gives him 500 yards. He's been making great decisions all day. He's got over 500 yards passing today. Very good arm to go with outstanding decision making. Second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. He lets it go. Nice catch, first down, he's knocked out. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want it. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 35 yard line. and very consistent with their approach. That's the third first down that they've picked up on this drive. Brought down around the 15-yard line. This is the ninth play of this drive. So it's another third down upcoming here. And down he goes at the 12. The defense is having a difficult time stopping this drive. Right now they're doing enough to be in situations they want to be in, but they have to finish the job. And the plays start to add up, so we'll have to see if this defense starts to look tired out there. Quickly, touchdown! And he tacks on the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Gathered in at the six. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. 
This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. South Alabama up seven points. Complete brought down, nothing doing. That makes it seven and six. Field. He's pushed out of bounds around the 45 yard line. That makes it first and ten. Hey, Mike's 50, Mike's 50. Wants to throw outside. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 45. Needed that play and he dropped it. Throws it to the outside. Special teams have done it before, blocking punts. It looks like they're coming after this one. He'll take it from the 18. He gets hit out of bounds at the 27-yard line. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Nice run up the middle. From their own 31 yard line. It's second down. He flings it left. Finds his receiver who's all alone. The 10. Touchdown, Eastern Michigan. This guy just continues to impress me. Every time I watch this team play, he seems to come up with big plays. And doesn't it always seem like he just finds a way to get open? We'll be tied with the extra point. And he converts the extra point. Eastern Michigan gets set to kick this one away. He'll return it from the three. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 27. It's been a good one so far today. Let's see what happens here. There's a lot of time left, and I think the important thing for this offense is to get their momentum back and move the ball down the field. We might have overtime in the back of our minds, but down on the field, that hasn't occurred to anyone. They want to end this thing in regulation. Makes it out to about the 36. Here's an opening. Tackle at about the 39-yard line. Here we go! 
Again with a carry. He makes his way out to about the 25. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 25. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. Makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. So nice, but it's also a pretty big shot. And he adds the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Eastern Michigan's dreams are a reality in this football game. They've scored 21 points in a row. They got into the end zone last time. Let's see if they can match that on this possession. Well, it's one thing to have speed. It's another thing to have an idea of what you're doing and how to attack the defense. And right now, these wide receivers clearly have done an outstanding job in being able to make their reads and getting out of their breaks, and the quarterback put the ball right on the line. From their own 38-yard line, first down. He's in trouble, and they got him. The pressure got to him that time. Well, they brought the heat here, and the linebacker was able to spring free for a big play. Third and long, and this is where you earn your money if you're the offensive coordinator. Sets up a screen, tailback's got it. He's out of bounds at about the 45. And this is what power football is all about, folks. He's scrambling. Dives forward. This is a pretty tough guy, and he's a great leader. He's going to do whatever it takes to help his team. First and 10. Ball on the 45. Quick pass tight end, and he wasn't ready for it. And that 
is an absolutely huge turnover for this defense. They couldn't have picked that off at a better time. Just a horrible decision by the quarterback trying to force that pass, especially at this point in the game. From their own 29-yard line, first down, South Alabama is up a score. Fires incomplete. And he misses his wide receiver there. Yeah, you're right. This is an area that he's worked so hard to improve since day one. The accuracy of his throws. He's improved. As you can see, he's upset here with himself. Slings it. He's tackled around the 29-yard line. Boy, the defense is very fortunate that the tight end was not able to make that catch. Last thing you want to see as a safety or a linebacker is a big, strong, athletic tight end with a catch with a lot of steam build up. Nobody wants to have to make that tackle. Tackle made at the 44. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Looking for his man, incomplete. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 44. Gets rid of it. Looks like someone was called for holding. Holding, holding. Offense. offense. You got to be careful to avoid these. Down. Penalties are a great way to stall out a drive. Quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 46. And now it's going to be fourth down. Nice defense. That was picture perfect three and out. Good series for these guys. That makes it fourth and nine. He drops it. Brought down at the 28-yard line. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. South Alabama is up seven. Here comes the pressure. And he can't get away from the pressure. From their own 26-yard line, it's second down. And now he's got room to run. Tackle made at the 46-yard line. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That's good for a gain of four yards. That makes it second and six. He gets out to about the 48-yard line. And he 
he's taken down at the 36 yard line. yard line from the 26 yard line it's first down south alabama is up by a touchdown they go to the ground game brought down after a nice run up the middle Loss of one there for the halfback. This is the 10th play of this drive. They'll go with a counter. And he carries the ball for a nice game. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. Kicks up, and it's through the uprights. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Taken from the three-yard line. And he's taken down at the 26-yard line. The offense is looking to be a little bit more successful with this drive as they had to punt the ball away the last time they had it. Now he's scrambling. Brought down at the 29. Second, Second down and seven coming up here. Ball on their own 29. Short pass, middle of the field, and down he goes at the 34. Less than three minutes in the game. Him hard at the 47. He scrambled. He's taken down at the 49. It's second down, six to go. Ball on the 49 yard line. Makes the catch and look out. And he shoved out of bounds at the 35 yard line. They try to get a head start there. Ball start offense. It's so tough to move the ball forward. Even a five yard setback can do damage to a drive. So we'll have first and 15 after the penalty. So the sack makes this a second and long. Under pressure, throws it out and it falls incomplete. Here's the eighth play of the series. Yard line. This one might be coming back, folks. Let's check out the penalty. 
offense. They'll line up for another third down play because of the penalty. Well, here you're in a third down situation, and then someone makes a mental mistake. It makes your blood boil if you're a coach. Defense trying to make up for the penalty here on third and short. Just under two minutes in the game. First down, Grant. Tackle right around the 24-yard line. He heaves it to the end zone. He'll take it all away for the touchdown. Only a one score difference now after that big, big touchdown. Trying to get within a field goal. They'll try the point after. And he hits the PAT. A 10-play, 46-yard drive. And they come away with seven points. Tackle at the 42. There are some tired defenders out there right now, the way these offenses are playing. Well, they just can't keep up. These offenses are not only putting points on the board, doing it in a way that the defenses are back on their heels, hands on their hips. They are tired. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. the middle for a nice game. A gain of about four yards on the draw. It's second and six. Ball on the 38. He tackles him for a loss. Eastern Michigan will take a timeout. That's their second of the half. He was never able to get ahead of steam on that carry. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. can see the elation on the defensive coordinator's side of things, and why not? His defense just came up with one of the biggest stops of the game in a vital spot in this fourth quarter. Gets it out quickly. He's tackled at the 27. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 27-yard line. Inside the 10, and he scores! Touchdown! Splits the uprights with the extra point. A five-play, 41-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart out. They can really demoralize a defense when they drive the ball down the field, and a lot of the yards came on the ground. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 22-yard line. I have a feeling we haven't seen the end of the fireworks today. Well, now you've got to be thinking end zone on every play. You just don't have the time to do anything else. Nothing left here except to see the clock hit zero. A comeback is just not happening. He heaves it deep. This one will fall incomplete. From their own 22-yard line, second down. Spikes the ball. Looked like off 
offsides. Here's the official call. Offside. Defense. defense. So the offense will move a little Full bit closer down. with that penalty. They're about four yards away here on second down. Gets it. He's in space. They'll bring him down around the 47 yard line. In a game that had to be a defensive coordinator's worst nightmare, it's over. South Alabama, 76. Eastern Michigan, 66. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nestler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.